Welcome back to Let's Play Forbidden Siren. Today we go to a new level, Karawari. Are you okay? Can't you walk a bit more slowly? I'm losing you. Uh, what do you mean? I can't see unless I use my chair. Oh, are you your eyes? Miyako, you still have more to do. You know that we can't proceed without you. <laughs> Won't be long before someone takes a trip to the other side then. The other side? It looks like you've been taking good care of my sister. Thanks for that. Your sister? <laughs> hey! Let's go! Sister? Yeah, I'll warn that later. So we need to head to the Tabori settlement with Miyako Kajiro. Aim, find an object that will act as a weapon. Great! It's a good thing, we need a weapon. There's Miyako there. Now there is something to Miyako. As she said in the cutscene, she can't really see. And when I say she can't see, I mean look. She's just completely freaking blind, she's blank. So that means we gotta stay close to her. We can't really run off a little too far because then she'll just lose sight of you and yeah, she'll just crouch. And when I say crouch, I mean she'll just, just you know, stop dead in her tracks and just crouch on the floor. So anyways, here's the map. It may look a little confusing, but trust me, it's not. We start down there at the bottom right and we gotta get all the way up there to the top left. But this level has quite a bit of things we need to do, though. So we're going to be here for a while. Also, it struck Miyako to come with you. Don't do what I did here. Yeah, see, she's like, walk slowly. Yeah. Gotta stay a little close to her. Try not to run off too far without her or else, yeah, she'll just stop dead in her tracks. So we need to find a weapon. And the weapon we need to find is not that far off. It's actually up here on these rice patties. climb up here and you see that little bonfire over there that's where our weapon will be come on Miyako all right there it is get a little closer and and tell her to wait here by the way there it is a fire poker. Yeah. It looks like it will make a good weapon. Yeah. Yeah, it works alright, I guess. Now it's time to get past the iron gate. We're not gonna do that yet. We tell me I'll go to wait here for a reason. Also look at that, that's pretty cool, right? There's like these like antenna towers on top of the hill. Oh no, to me that looked cool. So we're gonna go over here. Past the scarecrow. And we're gonna sight jack a fuchsia bidu. One of them is not a threat, the other one is a threat. If you look at the top right, that's where I should be, down those little narrow paths. There's a shibidu in that shed up here. There he is, he's hammering away. And there's another one further on. There he is. And he has a rifle. We don't want to screw with him. He periodically will walk back and forth. And we want to go run through here when he's looking the other way. 
see now he's looking in my way, so he's coming back. We want to come here, and we want to clear this brushwood. Obscure much. You could go ahead and climb up here. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to figure this out, but... I did somehow, I don't really remember. And there is... A stone marker! This is one out of the four stone markers we have to find in the game. There's only four of them, and relatively they're pretty easy to find. I said relatively because one of them's kind of hidden. Well, this one is pretty hidden too. And as you saw there, we fulfilled mission objective two requirements for Rico Takato. Which is for later. Alright, we don't want to go yet because that guy is looking straight at us. Come on. Turn around. There you go. I want to keep sidejacking him though because... Oh, whoa! <laughs> that guy just appeared out of nowhere. Anyways, yeah, I don't see... You sell that? Right next to the truck? There's an item there that we need. So yeah, the item that we need for a requirement to unlock mission objective 2 is right there for a later level by the way put it right next to the freaking sniper alright come on don't hassle me Miyako yeah we can, we can have her wait here all all day and she won't be in any kind of danger so yeah you could go and feel free to do whatever you want just have her wait here. But now we need her to follow us. Because we can't exit the level without her. We're going to come up here and there's a locked gate. But you just need to give it a few good hits and yeah, it should break. Alright then. I'm gonna go down here, and there's two Shibido, one on this, like, this cliff, or, I don't know, it's something. And there's one guy there, just farming. Or doing something, I don't know. And it's okay if he sees us, we could just beat him to death with our poker here. No. Come on. As you can see, he's on lower ground. It's pretty easy to just pick him off from up here. <laughs> Go back to work in the rice paddies. That's right. And this other Shibito that's up here should notice us any minute now. There you go. <laughs> And she's gonna jump and fall on her ass. No. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Now I just beat the shit out of her and we could continue on. Yako, where are you? Oh, why'd you take the long way around? <laughs> okay. Alright. Am I too far? Come on. Hurry up and lead the way. <laughs> Told you not to hassle me. So we just need to cross this bridge, and this tree's rotten, apparently. Go down here. 
Now we're at that place where the sniper was. Kind of lost my train of thought there, I'm sorry. But yeah, we're over here. You just tell me I'll go right there, she'll be fine. And uh, I guess it'll be the perfect time to go when the sniper's not looking. He's looking the other way at the broken bridge. And a dude saw me. But where is he? Yeah, I have no idea who the hell saw me. So there we go. We want to hurry and pick up this screwdriver here. We're going to need that for a later level. On day two at one o'clock. Okay, so still looking the other way. So we could go ahead and go on. He shouldn't be able to see us from all the way over here. And the exit is just up the road. We're this. Yako. About time. <sighs> Said not to hassle me. All right, let's go. Well, the exit is just right over here, right next to this truck. My freaking grandma saw me. There you go. Hey, no! Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> there you go. Eat dirt, Grandma. Come on, guys. <laughs> Why did I say guys? Come on, Miyako. Akira Shimura. Yay, yay. There's something in the air. There's something in the air. I have no idea what he means by that, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get to Harasake. Heard of Sakai, I think. Yeah. Find the tool in the siren shack. Now we're at Gojaku Peak. Pretty small level, but it makes up for it in the amount of Shibiru there are in this level. There's quite a bit. So yeah. And there's three snipers here. Two of them are actually a threat. One of them is just in the tunnel, dicking around with the trolley cart. So yeah. So the 70 year old man, the 70 year old hunter, he actually has a lot of endurance, believe it or not. He could take quite a few hits. Well, unless it's from a firearm, then yeah, he'll just die in two shots just like everyone else. But yeah, we're going to go down here, down this tunnel. We want to be careful though. We want to be careful because right down there is a sniper and he could see you all the way from down the tunnel. He has pretty good sight, but we're going to go ahead and just sneak up on him, get a good shot. There he is right there. There. There you go. We go down here. Go down here. Don't run into the freaking wall. Just shoot that guy and shoot his friend wherever he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There you go. There you go, I'm gonna sidejack that guy. Because we need to get into that tunnel where that sniper is. Go ahead and reload, and um, I just snipe. Snipe. <laughs> sidejacked. Uh, sniper over there. That sniper is actually impossible to kill with your firearm. You kind of have to do certain things special to kill him. Trust me, trust me. I tried killing him with your my rifle, and it no dice. It just won't work. The game wants you to play it how it wants you to play it. This switch here, we want to turn it or. 
move it. Whatever. The Ako Mihama. Requires permission of G22 fulfilled. All right. That's a character we haven't been introduced to yet. We will soon, though. I'm gonna go over here and look. Another stone marker. Let's go ahead and push it over. And requirements for mission objective two fulfilled for Rico Dicado on the same day. And the same character. So, yeah, all those stone markers are connected to that character and their mission objective too. Like I said, that's two. And now we just need two more. Well, so I just became aware that my laugh sounds so freaking fake. Um... Honest, be honest with you, uh, no, I'm actually laughing when I do laugh. <laughs> so, see there, like, you can't even shoot this guy, like, it's just impossible. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Haha. Ah. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys back at the spot. Look at that shit! See what I mean? I can see you! How? So much damn fog in the way! Oh my gosh! Alright, so now we're back. So yeah, that sniper up there on this building... Pretty good shot! And also, he gets back up pretty quickly, so yeah, we don't want to wait around too long. So we come in here, in this little hut, that the sniper is currently on top of, and we want to pick up those wire cutters, and go down here into this tunnel. But we want to be careful, though, because there is that sniper should be doing here. We want to wait for him to turn around. There you go. Come in here and just shoot him right in the back. Boom! Eat it. Alright. So we want to make this quick. We're going to go ahead and cut the wires that are holding the trolley back. Once we do that, we can push the damn thing. And you'll, you'll see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that guy has a few cracked ribs now. So now we could get past that bullet immune sniper Shibiru, I guess. Because, yeah, we couldn't shoot him. And I'd say, oh, look, now this guy's up. I'm not gonna lie, that looked pretty sweet. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> so, yeah. We go down here and we could get past this tunnel here. Let me just reload. You are of limited ammunition, by the way. I think the game, the game gives you 10 in this level. Well, it varies depending on the level. So, yeah. The sniper dropped a key. And this key is for this door right here. Not that far. Once we open this door, we just run down the stairs and head to the left. And we should be out of this level. Alright! 
right, well, that's it. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Forbidden Siren. Until then, until then.